Hello, welcome back to Scratch. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a start menu and how to add a couple of features to it. Now, this game I made recently on Scratch called Explosion Shooter has a start menu. And as you can see, all it really is is it says the title of the game and maybe some imagery and we've got this little play button and if I highlight it uh, something happens and then I can click on it to start the game so I'm gonna start this off uh, using a new scratch project I'm just calling it start menu you can call it the name of your game or you could start with an already existing game first of all I'm going to create the start button I'm gonna get rid of this cat and create a start button and now I'm gonna do just put a little box and I'm just going to say start there we go let's make it a good size and I'm gonna fill this in because otherwise ah uh, when you click like here it'll think you're clicking on the background and not on the button you can fill this in with the same color as the background if you want it to be if you want it to look transparent I'm just gonna duplicate this costume I'm gonna make a new costume so that when this button is highlighted it can be slightly different looking to show that I think I'm just gonna fill the text in with some green there we go always remember to save your projects and now we'll just say when green flag click and we'll have a forever loop here we actually want an if then else here okay so when the green flag is crit then in a forever loop if it's touching the mouse pointer if the sprite is touching the mouse pointer then we want it to be highlighted so we'll switch the costume to highlighted otherwise it's not highlighted and we'll switch it to unhighlighted and this little script right here do that so now you can see it turns green and now we want the game to actually start so we'll also say in the if touching mouse pointer so we know it's already touching if mouse down then it's being clicked and we can start the game so we're just gonna say broadcast new message start game okay so now if you had a game without a start menu and you wanted to add it in and here's the part where instead of uh, having a when green flag clicked buttons uh, at the beginning of your game you'd have a when I receive start game and now we also don't want the start button to be showing when the game is playing so we'll just say looks hide and there we go there's our start button now I'm just gonna make a nice background saying awesome game and we can also make a new background for the actual game we'll make it green and we'll say playing uh, here we're going to say when green flag clicked we'll switch the backdrop to backdrop one which is the title screen and then when I receive start game when the game is started when the start button is clicked I'm going to switch the backdrop backdrop 2 and now I made a mistake here 
I told it to hide without telling it to show at the beginning. When I hit the green flag, it's still hidden. So I'm just gonna say show right here. That'll fix that. And if I hit the green flag, there's the start button here. And if I click it, then we get a different backdrop. Next up, we're going to have a little customization feature uh, where you can choose an option from a list in the start menu and then play with that option. Okay, so let's say you want to have a selection of characters where the player can choose which character they want to be before playing and then that character will be what they play as. So here I'm representing the characters as different colored circles that I've just drawn but you can copy and paste from a, your own characters into a vertical row like I've done here. Uh, and then we're going to say when green flag clicked, it's going to show. So during this intro, it's going to show. And I'm going to put it down here. This looks good there. You can put it wherever you want. Uh, and we're also going to say when I receive start game, hide. And there we go. So you're going to be able to select them. And then when you hit start, it's gone. And I'm going to make a variable called character. And this variable is going to keep track of which character you have selected. So the beginning, I'm going to set it to red. And then in a forever loop, I'm going to say if character equals red, we'll switch costume to costume one. So red is going to be selected in costume one. And we're going to have three more costumes for when the other ones are selected. Now you can decide how you want to indicate that uh, something is selected. But I think I'm just going to draw a little box around whichever is selected. Alright, so I've gone ahead and done that. And now we're going to say character equals blue switch costume costume 2 character equals yellow switch costume to costume 3 and otherwise and there's really only one more costume left so we'll just say switch costume to costume Four. So now you can see that red is selected in a box, and we can set this to blue at the beginning and run it, and now blue is selected. Now we want to just have the ability to click on one of these and have them be selected. So now we'll just say if touching the mouse pointer and mouse down here's where we'll have to decide which player it's clicking on and we're going to do that using the y value if you look right here you can see this y value changes as i move it up and down and you can actually get that by using this here so I'm going to take one of these, and as you can see, as it goes up, it gets higher. So if it's more than 44, then it's probably clicking on the red circle, because above the red circle, there isn't really anything. So we're just going to say, if, uh, and we'll use this greater than box, say if mouse y is greater than 44, then we'll 
set the character to red. There we go. And then we're actually going to want an if then else here. Ah. Uh, because otherwise, if the mouse y is more than negative 25, see it's probably either blue or red. We've, we already know that it's not red because otherwise it would be more than 24. So it would have to be blue if we set this to negative 25, blue. And we can just keep going. Otherwise, not clicking on red, blue, or yellow, they're probably clicking on purple. So we can just say set character to purple. Now if we hit the green flag, you can see we can select these. And now, just to show that they are properly selected, I'm going or to show what, what to do with the, which one is selected. I'm going to put a little red circle in the middle here. I'm going to make a different costume for every color. I'm going to duplicate it so it's the exact same size. Duplicate again. And then uh, I'm actually just going to copy this code here because it basically does exactly what we want it to. We're going to do that when I receive start game and we're also going to show it to make sure it's visible and to make sure it's invisible in the start menu we'll say when green flag clicked hide so now can select whichever one we want and then we can start the game and then we'll be right there and of course you can actually make this an actual player you can replace these with pictures of different players and everything like that but there you go okay there's also another option which is to have uh, four different sprites for your four different characters or however many characters you have and you can just say when green flag clicked show when I received start game hide and then we say if character is red then go to costume 2 and that's in a forever loop oh, actually this should be an if then else character is red switch to costume 2 otherwise else switch costume to costume 1 character is red so it makes sense that this is highlighted and then I'm going to say when the sprite is clicked, set character to red. And we can also have a third costume uh, for this one much more easily to show when something is selected or when something is being highlighted not selected and for that I'm just gonna use a little gray border there you go so now we'll say it if the character is not red because if it's already red we don't want to be able to select it but if it's not red uh, then if it's touching the mouse pointer we'll switch the costume to costume three and there we go so now it's selected so we can't do that uh, so now what you want to do 
is make copies of this for all your different uh, characters. You can really put them wherever you want with this one. So just to show that, I'm going to put them sort of a different pattern like this. And then this one will be blue. So we'll just fill all the circles in blue. And then we'll say, replace all the reds with blue, blue. And then this one will be yellow. With these names, you want to make sure they're the exact same. Uh, otherwise, it'll treat them as not being equal. So it will not think it's selected. And of course, make sure it's the same spelling in here as well. Uh, now if I hit the green flag, hopefully, as you can see, I can select each of these and click on them. And when I start the game, that's what shows up. All right, I hope you all enjoy this tutorial. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.